hi in this exercise we are going to issue a check to Arif Jaudhuri so we are going to set up Arif as one of the vendors so click on supply suppliers and expenses and then suppliers add supplier and then Arif Jaudhuri save and close so now let's uh, put uh, the invoice let's create the invoice supplier so click on supplier invoice invoice create invoice and then supplier select Arif Chaudhuri and then invoice number you can just put uh, spring holiday airfare the date is December 1st <coughs> okay and then quantity one you can put a description it's a uh, uh, spring holiday air fare okay the cost is 1680 dollar because this is a person personal expense paid out of the business account so it would be a shareholder withdrawal account so we have to find out that account shareholder loan Arif Choudhury here it is so we'll click that one and then process so the check was issued so the next step is payments payments pay supplier invoice click here Arif Choudhury this invoice is appearing so uh, this is the check number this is the date which is uh, December 1st sorry this is December 1st and then payment amount the whole amount was paid and then everything is fine so again process so this one is done the next transaction again the same is a similar way the check was issued to bed and bath incorporated from the business account but it was for something personal use so let's add uh, bed and bath incorporated save and close and then supplier invoice invoice create invoice select that supplier bed and bath here you can put a hot tub bath what tub bath date is December 1st okay quantity one hot tub but price is uh, 2835 no GST because it's a personal expense again we'll have to use shareholder loan account endless car okay process okay but the third transaction we are not uh, we are issuing a check to Barrio Fiesta for four thousand dollar as a deposit for Christmas party so let's add Barrio Fiesta so we close supplier invoice create invoice Barrio Fiesta and then invoice number Christmas deposit date December 1st December 1st quantity 1 Christmas deposit $4,000 and this is to be recorded as deposit process so the check was uh, processed so we are going to go to payments pay supplier invoice click here barrio fiesta and the check number was 2113 and the date was december 1st <coughs> click the payment amount here which is very important four thousand dollar is being paid so process done in the next transaction you know this is not uh, the scenario where we are issuing any check so you know it was it was uh, a transaction that involves the sale of an asset and you know the money that you received 
went into a term deposit account so in this case we are not issuing any check so there is no two step process just one step and then we can do it through general journal to do it through general journal click on company and then is general journal create general journal uh, the date is very important again december 1st okay in the comment you can write uh, sale of land and building okay so term deposit is being debited for 1 million and gain and loss gain and loss on disposal is being credited so that's how they asked you to do the transaction yes must have a source code so we can put something again in our proceeds from sale so process it's done the next one also you know it is a, a sale of uh, investment and then again it went into uh, your bank account so bank account to be debited so debit cash and credit gain and loss on disposal the next one a check was written to heart property management the landlord for 12180 for the monthly office rent okay so 12180 this includes the gst so to find out the gst you need to divide this number by 1.05 as 5% is the gst amount so uh, again suppliers and expense supplier add supplier and the, your landlord's name would go here hard property management save and close now you go to there and then create invoice and then find out that uh, vendor okay rent okay date is december 1st quantity one and then you write uh, rent rent for december amount is 11600 if you divide that 12180 divided by 1.05 you get this number and then tax gst five percent okay the amount the account is uh, occupancy cost occupancy cost or rent yeah rent so you see 12180 here so process so because we are cutting a check we are issuing a payment we have to go to this uh, payment and pay supplier invoice and then find out hard property management this is appearing here what was the check number check number is 2.2114 the date is December 1st <clears throat> and then process the next transaction is uh, is is an invoice to your customer your customers name is Limeric corporation so let's go to client and revenue to client add client and the name is Limeric Limeric corporate Limeric corporation save and close Limeric corporation save and close and then go to this client invoice invoice create invoice and then find out that uh, vendor Limeric corporation item number here click on item number and then this is for general training click on this uh, general training and then quantity how many sessions 21 session everything will be a fine general training total amount is forty two thousand um, dollar so 21 sessions 42 and then here you have to select GST 5% then 44,100 including GST the invoice number is 12-1 December 1st process in this case we are not receiving any money so this transaction is done 
So similarly, you can do the following transactions for your customers.